Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be showcasing Cookie Clicker. It is a browser based game that is very fun. I very very recommend playing it at least once without using the exploit, but the exploit is very fun and will get you where you're going very fast. So, uh, let me show you the basics. So you cook a clicky, er, I can't speak. Golden cookie, you click a cookie, and it collects cookies. Because you're at the very beginning, you only get one cookie per click. You can get upgrades to get you more cookies per click along with more cookies per click from other things. All these items give you more cookies per second, which is right here. The higher cookies per second, it automatically grows. So higher level items get you more cookies per second. You want cookies per second so you don't have to do all the clicking. So, let's get reinforced index finger, now I'm getting two cookies per click, twice as fast, alright, let's get a grandma, um, so, now I have 1.1 cookies per second. Everything you buy grows exponentially, so the, the cost grows. So it starts at 15, it grows 10% each time you buy, so it went to like 17, and now it's at 23. By the time you get about 100, it costs like 100 million just to get another cursor, which is crazy. Getting more of items allows you to get upgrades for that. So we just got two cursor upgrades and there's no more. But if we buy a bunch of cursors, uh when I hit 10, there's another up or the, another upgrade. So things work like that in this game. It's good to save up to get something. Uh huh. Yeah, you can figure it out. So, I, when I first saw this game, I immediately thought of my games, or my scripts from other games. I wrote scripts for in auto hotkey which is a language. It's really, really simple, but I wouldn't recommend it, learning it. It's a good introduction, but it's not as powerful as other languages. But it's very good for what a lot of people use it for, if you know what you're doing. It's very simple to learn. Alright, I'm gonna buy a farm and some more cursors. So now getting quite a lot of cookies by itself. I'm gonna let it go as I talk. So I made an auto hotkey script called click spam and I quickly adjusted it for use in this game where you hold down the numpad zero key and as long as you're holding it down it spam clicks for you at where your mouse is which is very nice but it requires your mouse use which the exploit I'm gonna show you does not need so now I'm at a, a thousand eight hundred cookies already I'm gonna hold it down get to five thousand so it's cooks about er, uh, cooks clicks about thirty times a second a more, little bit more than that. It's not that fast, but it's pretty fast. 
decent. It's okay. It's not that powerful of a language. Um, I'm at 18 cookies per second. Back to cookies. Uh, so, it's good, but it's not that good. I came across a Javas JavaScript exploit that when golden cookies appear, they appear randomly. Right there. Speak of the devil. So, you click. I just got 366 cookies for clicking that. Sometimes it'll give you a times two cookies per second bonus. Other times it'll give you a flat cookie amount. It's based on how many cookies per second you have. So if you have 18,000 cookies per second, instead of 18 cookies per second, you'll get a lot more cookies than just a few hundred. So, I'll show you the JavaScript. All of the scripts are going to be in the description. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So, this is what I have. <clears throat> it originally was just for Golden Cookie. I'm not sure how JavaScript magic, but it would click cookies. That the Golden Cookies that weren't there, like uh, I don't know. But I figured out that inspecting the element. This div is big cookie, so I was able to recreate this, just copy paste, and change the div element to big cookie, same exact kind of way as it was orig originally written in the code. So there's a bug flying around me. You set the interval to use this function to one millisecond, so it does, in a perfect world, a thousand actions per second, which is an insane amount of cookies. A lot faster than the 30 from this. So, remember how fast this grows? It grows about... 2,000 a second, or 200 a second. Um, where was I? Oh, so you want to take this code and get back into the inspect element. You can either do that by right-clicking in Chrome or use the Chrome shortcut to console control shift and J opens up the console I have it popped out it's usually stuck on the bottom where if you're looking at the code it's the last tab so you control V on Windows paste and just hit enter and watch it go it automatically gets cookies. It's getting about 60, 68,000 cookies each time. It gets that about every other time, so about 50% of the time, if it's in a perfect world, it will get a thousand press or a thousand clicks on golden cookies. So, that's 68,000 times 500. That's a lot of cookies, which leads to 33 million cookies already. And I only have 30, 37 cookies per second. It's also, at the same time, clicking on this cookie. I'm not touching my mouse right now, and it's all doing it for me. 
So you can buy mouse upgrades to make your cookies per second go up also. You want to buy more cursors to get cursor upgrades. As you're doing this, by buying more cursors and such, makes your cookies per second go up, which also makes your cookies gained from golden cookies go up. Everything works with the, each other to increase your cookies gain. So, I'm going to do a really cheeky move and use my <laughs> click on my cursor, the auto-click, to buy more, more cursors. So I'm buying them as fast as I can. Ran out of money. As you're buying cursors, it increases your cookies per second, which also increases your golden cookie, which will get you more money to buy more cursors, which will increase your cookies per second, which will increase that, and everything works with each other. It's a lot more effective if you get as many cursors as you can, then get a couple time machines. And once you get the first time machine, oh, your cookies per second just pop. And you can just spam click time machines. And then you can get Billion Finger. Get some more cursors. Trillion Finger. And at 160 is... Oh, I need more time machines. 160 is Quadrillion Finger, which is the last cursor upgrade which will be making your cookies gain a lot. From doing all of this, it's also making your golden cookie go up. So I'm at about, that's four billion or four million cookies per thing, which is insane. I, I, I'm clicking as fast as I can and my amount of cookies is just barely going down because the time machine, because the costs scale up as I talked about earlier. So I have 55 time machines right now. So I can buy as many cookies as I want. I'm just going to hold down my macro and there's the quadrillion finger. Now I'm getting about 1,898.8 cookies per click. It's all doing it for me. You can help out. I don't think it helps. I think it caps out at a certain amount. But at this point, you're just gaining so much from this and this that you can't spend your cookies fast enough without a macro like me. So I'm going to hold down stuff and just watch it by. Look at all these upgrades I can get. It also increases the cookies per second, which will increase that. Everything works with itself. So it's insane. So now I'm gonna buy like all of the upgrades. Just hold it down. All of the upgrades. Now the cookies per second just got boosted, this got boosted, everything's boosting, now I can get another upgrade. That is insane. This exploit is overpowered, to say the least. It's very fun, although it sort of ruins the game. Sort of. Depends on what kind of person you are. Alright. Well. I am way further than most people. There's so many cookies that it's deleting itself. Alright. Uh, I'm going to show you how to stop the script. So to stop the script, you want to get back in the console. You can use the control shift J or inspect element. Go to the console. Well, oh, 
My bad. Uh, uh, forget that. Just refresh. It stops the script. Everything goes back to normal. Since you get the two times bonus from a golden cookie, like every other golden cookie, the cookies per second will be cut in half. So be aware of that if you want to go back to normal. 20,000 cookies per click. That's a lot. Not as much as earlier um, updates, but still a lot. So, yeah, that's this game. I'm going to show you my save before I go, where I've been using this export, and I, I haven't been using it that long, I only made it today, I thought I would do a video about it, just because I haven't made a video in a very long time. Alright, so, 200 cursors, 190 grandmas, 180 farm, all this, I've only been running the script for... an hour, two hours, not that long, but I have 148 time machines, that is a lot of my income, that's a lot of cookies, that was nearly a trillion cookies from one golden cookie, so you can really see how much it ramps up. Ah, there's a bug on me. Alright. That's all I have for you guys. Oh, one last thing. It doesn't work when you're using the exploit. It does not work when it's in the background. So I have 65 point six trillion cookies and if I let it go in the background and then go back to it it was still at the same point it does not work in the background you can keep it in the foreground as long as you can see it it also works I'm not sure if it keeps doing the exploit But, yeah, uh, just don't mess with it. You don't have to be at the computer. I think if your computer locks, it stops. But it'll keep going with the basic cookies per second, although it's not nearly as fast. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. You guys know the deal. Thank you for watching, and everything's going to be in the description below.